Welcome to Neo's Mad Scientist Laboratory. Okay, now I know I said I was done with this uh, hydrolyzer project, but I just couldn't leave it alone. I wanted to do a little more experimentation with this particular design that I'd come up with, because in the demo that I produced it really didn't clearly illustrate the concept, I thought. So, I've constructed this new um, model here, Hydrolyzer 2.0, or actually 3.0, because just a few minutes ago I was uh, putting things together and they didn't quite work out, so I had to redesign it yet again to sort of make it a little more practical. Uh, Alright, let's see if I can get the details here. Alright, that's the um, anode, or the, the cathode actually, down there in the bottom. I always get those mixed up, damn it. Um, that's a stainless steel wire hooked to a uh, plastic coated wire wrapped with electrical tape. So. In theory, that will slow down the corrosion once the oxidation starts to happen. And right there, that's the um, the actual anode at the top. It's exactly the same, at least in design. So we have the um, anode at the top and the cathode at the bottom just like the previous design. Only this time, I'm actually going to be able to um, do it the way I originally wanted, which, but I didn't really have enough BBs for with, to make the previous container work. But this smaller container will make that possible. So I'm going to fill this up with uh, the BBs and the electrolyte. Okay, now the electrolyte is in place. You can quite clearly see the magnification effect and there's the um, anode. Uh, it's penetrating the electrolyte of course so that it will be able con to conduct electricity. Alright. And now there really isn't anything preventing me from flipping on the system and just giving it a, t a test drive. Uh, right away you can see bubbles forming on the uh, anode. Quite a lot of bubbles. That's HHO gas. And you can see bubbles coming up from the BBs below. Just a few at first. It always takes a little while for the bubbles to get in between all of them. Down there at the bottom somewhere is the cathode. You can't really see it. An interesting thing, it was kind of, sort of um, anticipated, you can see those bubbles forming between all the BBs and coming up through the BBs. Oh, there's the um, and or cathode right there. All right. So now to make this experiment complete, what I want to do is oh, you can see that the Christmas tree light is just barely lit. So uh, the conductivity right now of the electrolyte is quite low. If I added more baking soda, of course, that would increase dramatically. Um, so as I was saying, to make the experiment complete, what I'm going to attempt to do is <coughs> put a balloon on top 
of the uh, seal that I've made and see if I can get it to inflate with HHO gas. Note to self, it's a major bitch getting these balloons on here because they're so small. But this, I think I've finally gotten the seal down, but um, it's still really sketchy. Look at all those bubbles. It's pretty cool to watch this light uh, fluctuate as the sort of chaotic and totally random conductivity of the electrolyte fluctuates. Wish I could get a closer shot, but my camera really just doesn't do that well. Definitely a lot of bubbles. Oh yeah, there's some HHO right there. <laughs> In retrospect, maybe I shouldn't have used a pink balloon.